What is up, all my kooky, cocky gamers, boys, girls, attack helicopters, football players, whatever you sexy to identify as. It's your boy, Mr. Old Rash, and today we are back playing some more All Pro Football 2K8. We're in the 1993 season. 1984 season has been taking a while because I keep fucking recording and it keeps not recording the whole thing. So that's why it's been a couple weeks for that. But I'm ready for this. Oh, we're excited. Yeah. All right, look at all those losers. All right. Formation shift. Kip. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this 2K Sports presentation. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium. Playing on their home turf, we have the Flippers. They're going up against the Americans. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me, as always, Peter O'Keefe. Here are today's lineups, and there are some real standouts, Peter. Simply put, Dan, these are some of the best players ever assembled on one team. Just look at the rest of them. Each one is a star in his own right. But their opponent is packed with talent as well. Dan Marino and Richmond Webb are the standard bearers for the Flippers. These two stand side by side, shoulder to shoulder. One without the other wouldn't be nearly as successful. These are players you can build a team around. Yes, indeed, e. Peter. Yes, now indeed. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. Dan, ready to go? Oh Gentlemen, boy, we want heads. We always go heads. We'll take heads. Ugh, his neck. Heads it is. Good. Oh shit! We got to We'll kick. The American have won the toss and select a kick. I get the same referee for every game. Come on, Sisson. I, uh, it was exciting. First kickoff. Come on, boys. Simmons hoots it downfield, and oh, we're underway. Shit. Kirksey fields the opening kickoff at the 23. Dragged okay. down at the 45. Dedrick Kirksey found a way to get some yards against the defense. Had in the free kick, and this offense definitely comes out ahead. The Flippers will begin the drive at their 45-yard line. Oh, I got tipped on my side. All right. I ain't getting nowhere. Marino throws a heater and it's caught at the Smith. And, and he stopped right there. Dan Marino made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. They move the ball and that'll bring up third down. Third All right, down, four yards to go. Surely they're not running it on third and four. Hicks gets the handoff and he searches oh. the Stopped at the 50. Slade will be credited with the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Hawkins lines up to punt after the three and out. Nothing there for them, and they got a good offense, so. That's crazy. Hawkins gets the ball and punts it away. Browner fields the Come on, you went right over. Breaks the tackle. <laughs> At the 18. Joey Browner backed up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Americans will start this drive at their own 18 yard line. Russell gets the call on first down and will lose about a yard here. All right, big play. Big play, I don't care. Benson throws a beauty to the oh, come on. side. Cole, and it's Jared Jared incomplete. Jeremiah Williams came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Thank you, and continue. they get the first on third and long. Jason Benson. Oh, look at this. Jason perfectly, Benson. Perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. 
You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Benson gets all of his arm into this pass, get and it's off. Incomplete. Bobby Brewster, sure like to have that one back, Dan. He really set up his man outside. Bad communication on the throw. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. All right. You're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. Actually, ah! Kinney gets the sack way back at the 26. Jeff Kinney sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable no, Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Bigger. Great defensive play. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very oh, they're not ready. Monstrous D, the past few downs for these guys. Benson. Oh, come on. This one hard over the middle. Benson! It's not reeled in. Incomplete. Tommy Oliva closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. It was third and very long, and it didn't look too hard for the defense to stop that play right in its track. You know, Dan, that's what pressure on first and second down will get you. You push them in. Oh, he took the shit out. To climb out. Fourth down ahead. Tackled at the 43. Curtis McDaniel racked up a few yards Curtis on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Flippers, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start the at their 43-yard line. Out. Marino fires this one over the Dude, if that line is caught for a gain straight, of seven on the play. Wiggle, wiggle. Irving Fryer had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Damn, dude. Catches it over the middle and tries to get free. And stop right there. <laughs> Darren Tippins made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They hold so. pretty firm there, and they've got to do it again on third and short. All right, third and one. Third and one. Down! Six! Get him, please. He's at the 35. Finally oh. gets out of bounds at the 20. First down. Greg Hicks makes a terrific play here, Dan. Yes. He picks up some huge yards, takes it to the outside, and then eventually runs out of bounds. Check it out. Oh, yeah, nice play. He got what he needed and then headed for the sidelines. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 28 yards on three carries. Jackson hauls it in right side and picks up four on the play. Keith Jackson saw that he was singled out there and did just enough in that pattern to gain separation and haul that one in. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Oh, come on now. Marino. Oh, pick it up. This one deep to the end zone, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Ingram almost. Sammy Ingram is gunning for his man there in the middle. But he just can't bring it down for the completion. Yeah, he had good positioning there, but obviously good positioning isn't everything. That's incomplete, and it had a chance at seven. Oh, boy. They would love to have that play again. Third down coming up. Oh, sack. Washington the sack way back at the 23. Fourth down coming up. Joseph Washington sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. Peter, they push them back, and with every yard, they make it much harder to make the field goal. Absolutely. If you don't believe it, just ask a kicker how big five yards can be. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Come on now. Stepnoski kicks from 40 yards out, and they take the lead. Corey Stepnoski rockets this one in for a clean field goal. Let's see it again. He's got clean plenty of room on either goal. side. Great accuracy there. Well, you could have backed up that one 10 yards or so. He still probably would have made it.
Stepnoski crushes this one deep. Kriegmer is coming out with it. Right down at the 22. Lou Kriegmer got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Americans will begin the drive at their own 22-yard line. Russell gets the handoff. Gets past good. the line. Tackled at the 25. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Flippers with a small lead, three to nothing. Second down with two tight ends to the right. All right, come on. Plus, oh, dude, you can't bring it down. And that brings up third down. Albert Russell had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be. I'm looking at why. Maybe Jason Benson had his clock cleaned on that one. Managed to get rid of the ball, but it fell incomplete. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Sanchez lines up to punt after the three and out. Sanchez Damn, gets the ball punt. and punts it away. Jukes tackled at the 46. Curtis McDaniel fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Flippers have been locked in a defensive slugfest so far and will start this drive at their 46-yard line. No, I shouldn't do that guy. Nobody on him. And when the quarterback saw that, he quickly shot him the ball. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and five. Down! Six. Hyena! Red! Hyena! Fryer snags the dart right sideline. And he's just barely past the markers for the first. Dan Marino has got a lot of guts to make a play like that, Dan. Anything oh, so many guts. It's a gamble, period. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Marino passes this one, and it's no, sir. incomplete. Roberto Smith gets a hand on this one. <laughs> right there. That's how you play D. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Second down from the shotgun. a game of seven on the play. Dan Marino has a knack for sticking square pegs through round holes when it comes to completing a tough pass. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Hmm. I feel like they're going to run it. Picks has his number four smash Third down and is dropped short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Nick Collins got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. He only has 29 yards, but his longest is 27, so he's only managed two yards on the other run he's at. Hawkins gets the snap and session. aims this Shit. one for the corner. This will pin them deep as it flies out of bounds at the... Matt Hawkins angles this one nicely and puts it out of bounds and away from any potential... The Americans comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before the break. They'll start at their own 10-yard line. Damn. Back at the one. 
Blake Frost gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That'll be his first sack of the game. Man, we need more out of you. You're not coming for that tape. Oh, he's open. Well, he's so open. On this one and forces the incompletion. Jeremiah Williams anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Benson really rifled this. Oh, thank you, Timpson. The first on third and long. Damn, I'm goaded. Down, American. Look at this. Jason almost Benson went out. Throws right Bam. Past the coverage and into his receiver. Okay, we get it. Two minutes. First down, two wide outs on the field. 28 yards. That's a gain of seven on the play. That was a nice throw, though. Benson. Oh, I knew he was going to be open. Sideline, and the reception is made for a first and more. 20. Finally popped out of bounds at the 15. There you go, Marv Cook. Taiwan Cook is going to make the catch. Right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the oh, chew up those Don't yards. Oh, why are you getting in there? Turner goes in motion. Oh, he was open. Get in there. Makes the nice yes. Catch and there. that's a touchdown. That drive qualifies as the stride. Ridiculously long-lasting drive of the game. The Americans had the aerial assault firing on all cylinders on that possession, Dan. Mm -hmm. Their quarterback consistently hit the receivers for big gains. That drive showed some holes in the defense's secondary, too. All right, now he's going to make his extra field goal. Yeah, extra field goal, extra point. I'm bad at them. Please go in. Here's the point oh. after, and it's good. Oh, thank God. Don't get down, guys. This is nothing, nothing. When we get the lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Oh, they're trying to crack my head, huh? Simmons doesn't get a hold of it very well. Good. Kirksey fields the short kick at the 21. Stop at the 35. Dedrick Kirksey tried the return, but I think because the kick was so short, the D was already there to dismantle the run. The Flippers, they have taken the field, and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their 35-yard line. Balls him down in the backfield, and the clock will continue to run. I'm not too worried about scoring again. I just want to stop him, so I'll give him, give him a chance to go down the field. McDaniel catches it on the sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Curtis McDaniel had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the pass. Oh, he dropped it. Marino really rifles this pass, and it's knocked away from the re... Austin Hewitt was hurt. sitting back in the zone, waiting for the pass, and then closes enough to force oh, the dear, incompletion. <laughs> nice job. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. 
Oh, here he comes. Hawkins gets the ball and punts it away. Browner takes it at the 23. Tackle back to 27. You guys don't want to deal with me and the open field. The Americans got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 27-yard line. Jackson Damn, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, will continue to run. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Cox makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Robert Cox came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Benson puts Come on, Benson. everything he's got into this one, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Tommy Oliva came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Sanchez gets the snap and punts it away. Damn, they got 10 seconds to get the field goal. Come on, Kirby, how are you injured on that play? Fuck, that was my kicker. Hunter, whatever. The Flippers take the field with the clock at the level. Hicks takes it across the line of scrimmage and picks up a couple. The Flippers want to talk it over and they take their first time out. Well, now they don't got time. Second down, tight end to the left. Oh shit, I thought he was back. Get him! Yes! Thank you, boy. <laughs> man, that bad, boys. They don't lie, can't handle me, man! And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Americans are out in front, 7-3. to three. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Americans should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Benson went up top on the third down play, and he was able to find his man. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. The Flippers, midway through the first, all at the 50. Hicks got the call on third down, and it paid off. That set up a 41-yard field goal. Midway through the second, the Americans losing by three. Cook was definitely a key player, as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Flippers are down, but still in it, seven to three. Excellent job, Dan. The Americans will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, 7-3. to three. Let's get down to the field and the action. Oh, yeah, get to the action. I know, this wouldn't be a... I wouldn't mind winning like this. By a special point, or even by a one point. As long as I win. Stepnoski kicks it, and the second half is underway. Kriegmer catches it back at the one. One Kriegmer. Round to a halt at the 24. Lou Kriegmer got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Americans take the field and will start out at their own 24-yard line. Russell gets the toss and runs into traffic. Jukes right down at the 32. Albert Russell has a great offensive line in front of him. Yeah, he, that's it. He just has a great offensive line. Down. 
Stop at the 30. Third down, one man back. Damn, they only have one cover over here. Oh, my God. Brisk run. Oh. The fast ball over the middle, and they convert on third down. Thank you, Bobby Brisbane. Brister goes mono, Bobby. mono, and the ball's waiting for him there on the cut. Great communication by quarterback and receiver together. It's, it's something. I don't care what they gotta say. They're the losers right now. So. Two, two. Watch left. Watch left. Russell carries it for the sixth time and rambles for about five. Yeah. Kirksey had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now we've gotten word on his condition. He was Peter? But he came off the back. field complaining of leg cramps, and that's exactly what it appears to be. It looks like they're massaging it, but with time running low, it's unlikely that he'll be ready to return. Thanks, Peter. Brings him down behind the line at the 38. But are they expecting the double cross? Benson on the right coast. And it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Whole lot more. First down. American. Jason Benson throws right past the first and ten from the flippers. Two. 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 Russell bulldozes right of center and maybe picks up one on the play. Albert Russell got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Down. Oh, yeah. Switch. Clock 22. Switch. Practice three. Benson throws a bullet to the one. To the the catch is made at 14. Stop at the eight. It'll be first and goal. And goal. Okay, go. Yeah, we, we know it's going to go. Russell gets the toss and runs the traffic. Grimm takes him down back at the 11. Russ Grimm would not be denied and drop him for a huge loss. Big play. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Benson throws a heater right sideline, and this one is incomplete. Russ Grimm was sitting back in the zone, waiting for the pass. All right, come on. Third and goal. All of them. Russell goes in motion. So it's not more. It's, uh... it's intercepted. Damn. Y'all see that pick? Textbook, baby. Textbook. A tire rolling out. Jason Benson the gets off on the wrong ready. foot on this pass, and it costs his offense a big one. The defense picks it off, allowing him some quality time on the bench to distinguish between his yeah, right foot and time. his wrong foot. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy no, I mean, man down there. The Flippers the are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Marino zings it to the right side, and the catch is made well past the marker. Sammy England is in man-to-man -man coverage on this <laughs> play and said. makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy okay. has real skill. Oh, we saw it. Well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Ronald makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Jeff Brown came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. 
Marino throws a heater, and it's caught at the 48, and he's We can stop him with one yet, Keith Jackson had two guys draped all over him, but still made a play on the ball. Great catch. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play Come on. for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. I had to open wide open like that. Over the middle and they convert Not like that. Down. Dan Marino played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 78 yards and no interceptions. Hicks will get the carry on first down and gains about three yards. Tippins with the tackle. Tippins. Damn it, Brown, you're supposed to get that quicker. And he's got the first down and a hole. Keith Jackson goes mano y mano, and the ball's waiting for him there on the cut. Great communication by quarterback and receiver together. This is a big halftime adjustment by the coaching staff. After picking away in the first, they come out of the tunnel, launching heat. Yeah, if they can connect on a few more of those, watch out. Marino fires this one over the middle, and it's tipped incomplete. Curtis McDaniel muffed an almost guaranteed catch there, and as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. That was a, a rare incompletion, Peter. This passing game has shown very few weaknesses. Well, the deep. that man's glasses in the back. Still over a quarter left to play. Second and ten. Hicks grabs the bullet and is at the 15, right, down is. at the 14. Dan Marino made a good, clean throw. That's a textbook play execution. That is not a textbook play. You don't across the, field the like middle that. of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Marino rifles it out left side. Ah! Uh, Touchdown! Sammy Ingram makes the catch, but watch here what he does after the completion. Caught and now fight for more yards. You can't coach that. They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter, and they have to be happy with their performance on that drive. Yeah, great calls and great execution. Kurtzy is well enough to play. He's back in the game. It's good. Stepnoski boots the heck right. out of this one. Creekler downs it for a touch. Creekler. The Americans were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20 yard line. Russell picks All right, up seven, start. and that brings up second down. Albert Russell can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Russell goes in motion. Benson throws a ball to the Catch is made for a gain of a couple. Bob Brown just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But, you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. That's his <laughs> so the far. The ball's no, 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 no. Thank God. And they're going for it. Okay. <laughs> they have the first down at the 33. First Didn't down. fumble that time. Jason Benson called his own number for the run rather than just throw it away. He got some good yards out of it, too. Peter, I know you sometimes like aggressive play calling, but uh, yeah, that deep in your own territory? Well, they felt like they were in 
four down territory at this stage in the game, but I don't think this is the part of the field to be trying that kind of stuff. Grimm brings him down behind the line at the 31. Benson. Oh, he's open. To the left side line. Come on, turn it. At the 47. Finally Benson stopped turn. at the 48. Run. Russell takes Damn this it. one way out left and picks up a couple. Albert Russell used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Yeah, yeah, the long pass. Hmm. Listen up! We third and seventeen from All right. Forty-five yards. Oh, he was much closer. I thought he was the guy going to bring up fourth down. Martin Murphy had that ball in his hands on that play. And yeah, dropped it. Peter in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof for third. All right, RB, I'm definitely looking for that. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Benson gets no, you overthrew him pass, so bad. And it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over. Lou Freakmer runs a corner route there and gets the nod from the quarterback. But the pass is incomplete. Got to work on that one, folks. They needed Damn. to convert there to try and get into field goal range, but they could not do it. Could be a key play there, Dan. They were a kick away from tying it and just couldn't pick up the yardage. Hit the Americans take their first time out. Second down, the clock is stopped at 144. Down. Sit. Double back, double back. Right 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 What's that? What's that? Hicks gets the call again. And oh, no. Hits up the field. The Americans will take a timeout. God damn, we have to stop him now. Third down and less than a yard. Take a timeout. That's their final one. Takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. A loss of yards here, but they aren't too concerned about that. They just want to keep that clock moving. They can't do with this episode, boys. I don't think we're going to be able to. Well, this is where the offense goes in slow motion. No hurry to start the play. Use up as much time as possible. Which is a shame. Marino takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. Yeah. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock wind all the way down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. Good clock management right there. One mistake, one pick, and we lose it. That sucks. We got to get better. Shouldn't have done it.
Marino takes a knee, and that will do it. Well, that did it, Dan. They can now use up all the clock by just sitting on the ball. What a game. Fourth down. 14 yards to go. Penalty. And that is going to all right, that's going to do this. this one. For this Clippers episode, boys. Come out on top. Bye-bye. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Brown is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. The Flippers, now in the fourth quarter, already inside field goal range. Ingram had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 14-yard touchdown for the home team. Still in the fourth quarter, the Americans losing by three. Benson got the carry as they tried to ground things out on fourth down, and it really paid off. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Flippers edge out a win 10 to seven. Finally, let's give it up for our 2K Sports player of the game. Sammy Ingram dominated the game like a true legend. He was the focus of the offense in this one, making big catch after big catch on his way to some big numbers. When a receiver asserts himself like that, it doesn't go unknown.